This is Northern Ireland against Portugal, live from Windsor Park, World Cup qualifying Group F. Michael O'Neill's men against the side ranked seventh in the world. Commentary as usual from Jerry Armstrong and Mark Robson. And there he is, the Portuguese captain, Ronaldo. And due to that uh, shock in Porto when they dropped two points at home, well, Portugal well appreciate the capabilities of Northern Ireland. And they know that O'Neill's men, including uh, Martin Patterson, who scored that winner against Russia, they won't be intimidated by such illustrious opposition, Jerry. No, I hope not. And Martin Patterson obviously had a fabulous game against Russia. If he can do it against Russia, I believe he can do it against Portugal. Let's hope the lads are, are committed to it. And off we go. Uh, Northern Ireland attacking the railway stand end. Oh, they're so quiet in the portal, pretty quiet here so far. And that's just how Northern Ireland will like it. Ronaldo. Oh, great skills by Ronaldo. Twisting and turning away from Steve Davis. Will he be dizzy after? Well, well we know what he's all about. Mark, 202 goals in 202 games for Real Madrid, 40 goals for Portugal. Look at the skill here. That is fantastic balance for a big lad. A little bit cocky as well at the end with a nonchalant flick. But uh, he's at times, but not here tonight so far. This is Matinho, and it's Alves, and that's header. the danger of Alves. That's a free header. The movement's good, but nobody picked him up. He runs about seven or eight yards across the edge of the penalty area. And he gets a free header. That's that's not good defending from Northern Ireland. Right? He's like a second row forward. Matinho. Can he place the ball onto the dangerous head of Alves? And it comes to Alves. And Alves does score. But it's not with the head. It's with the foot. And Portugal dampen the famous Windsor Roar. Well, it's a well-rehearsed goal. The ball into the near post is good. They've got the initial touch, but we don't attack the second ball. And Bruno Alves, for a centre-half, he, he plays it really well with the instep. And again, I don't think he's been marked tightly enough here. You know, he's inside. He's just inside the penalty area. I don't know if, what he is. He's unblocked. He can't see. Roy is totally uh, blocked by, I think, the view of our two centre-backs. Gareth McCauley is certainly one of them, and Johnny. It's a good volley, but one that I think maybe Roy, if he sees it, could do better on. Well, he's been prolific in this campaign. That's his fourth goal for a central defender, just one behind Postiga now, 38th camp. He scored a couple of goals, missed the Oporto game. He was injured for that match. Lopez played fullback, and this is Verinha now, control. And here's Morales, good movement. And here is Verinha again, shaping himself, and Roy Carroll this time just manages to stretch far enough. The big right mid came out there, was sneaking at the far and the near post, and he's got his hand to it. But clever interchange of play here between, well, it was Verinha who got the shot up, but Raul Morelli does well as also. And Verinha coming in on his foot, right foot, caused some problems. It. Everybody back in their penalty area for, for Portugal now. And McCauley makes a run, in comes McCauley! And another European giant begins to feel the Windsor heat. Oh, that's a great set play. Great pace on the ball from Shane Ferguson. Watch the run from, from Big Gareth. He gets in among them all. They're all standing in the six-yard box, and he starts to make his run. He attacks it. Gets up above everybody early. Doesn't matter who's in there. Have a look. One, two, three. Up he gets. Glancing header, far corner. Great goal from Gareth McCauley. And Northern Ireland deserve to be level. A third international goal for Gareth McCauley. Serbia, San Marino. And now the might of Portugal. Here is Postega. No uh, danger. Well off the target. He was off balance as well, Helder Postega. I'm not really overly bothered if they're going to shoot from this sort of range from Postega. If it was Ronaldo, I might be a little more concerned, but Postega's renowned for his prowess. We had to win that match. We pushed for it at the end, Mark. We could have sat back and taken the draw but we did we went for the victory and they beat us on the counter-attack and here's oh, Postiga and Roy Carroll makes a good save 
And then Gareth That's a shot off and well done. This is a better save though from Helder Postiga. Set up by Ronaldo. Great strike. Roy Carroll. Oh, and control heads it into a bit of space, but Steve Davis had filled that space, but he's given the ball away to Veloso. Veloso plays into control. Control. Ooh. Well, he does well getting a shot off there through the legs, I think, of Johnny Evans. But uh, Veloso does brilliant, picks him out. He gets a chance to turn. Three shots right up. Oh. Well played, Carroll, but Postiga and Gareth McCauley just coming Red together. Ball. Oh, and Postiga's gone! Postiga is off! The referee deciding there will be no nonsense here, and they've lost their top scorer, and he's booked Ronaldo, the captain, as well. Well, what a 15 seconds here at Windsor Park. They could have pressed the destruct button because he's had a goal... At Gareth McCauley, Gareth McCauley's asked him what the problem is and he moved his head forward. Now Gareth didn't go down but the referee saw enough of it to give him the red card. Let's see this again. I think he's shouting, he says, what's this all about? No, he does push his head forward. That's silly. That is silly. That is absolutely ridiculous. From a player of his experience, Heller Postiga, he's got to be disappointed with that action. Well, it's a moment of exceptional drama here at Windsor Park. How this game has changed Northern Ireland, falling behind. Martin Patterson scored. There's Johnny Evans. McCauley again. Bouncing around in that penalty box. And a header comes in! And the ball is squeezed in! And it's Jamie Ward on the line! And almost unbelievably, Northern Ireland have taken the lead here. Well, there's a flick header at the near post, another fabulous delivery, but Jamie Ward and the goalkeeper collide, and I think the keeper's trying to keep it out, and Jamie's trying to hook it in, and eventually he does get it in. But there's a super header at the near post. Look at the dejection on Rui Patricio and Ronaldo. Here it is, near post. Well, is it Johnny Evans, or is it Gareth? I think it's, it's Johnny Evans got the flick on. It's Johnny Evans, and then the goalkeeper... There's a great ball from Shane Ferguson, Johnny Evans flick, and he controls it and flicks it in. He controls it on his thigh or chest, Jimmy Ward. I can't see from that angle. There he is, controls it, and then he hooks it in with his foot. Is he offside? Ooh, there's a big debate. He looks like he's half a yard there, offside maybe. Well, a little bit of good fortune goes Northern Ireland's way. It looked like he was maybe half a He's quick and he doesn't need to go early, that's the difference. Tino for Nani, he hasn't had a great qualifying campaign for Portugal on that. There was a oh, bit oh, of a oh, lunging oh, challenge, oh Chris trouble. Brunt, that's going to be another yellow card, is it? It is, it is well, I think, it's a yellow Chris card. Chris Brunt has to go, and he knows it. Well, the drama increases here at Windsor Park. Red card for Northern Ireland, red card for Chris Brunt, and is that going to give Portugal their way back in? Well, as I said to you at half-time, there is always a temptation with three of our players with yellow cards. Make that four. Roy Carroll's now got a book in. We can also go down to ten men. There's always that temptation. He goes diving in. Not to say that Joe Pereira doesn't make the most of it as well. There's the challenge. It's a yellow and card. It's a, it's a yellow card he, every day of the week. And he doesn't need to make it. That's the thing. He's devastated. He's devastated. Yeah, doesn't need to make it. Would you believe that's the 20th yellow card we've had in this game? Now Moutinho. Kyle well, Lafferty is stripped and ready to come on. Here is Veloso. Shapes himself. Great oh, save yeah. by Roy Carroll. Oh, incredible goalkeeping. That's some save. What a strike from Veloso as well. I think it actually hits the top of the crossbar. Let's have a look at it again. Fabulous strike here. He winds this one up. Brilliant strike. Big Roy's right hand gets to it. And it lands just on top of the back of the crossbar in the net. That's three or four magnificent saves from the big man. Three. He's given it to Portugal. Continue again with the set piece. Alves makes the run, but it wasn't oh. Alves! It wasn't Alves! Guess who it was? It was Cristiano Ronaldo, the heartbreaker, who's equalised for Portugal. The captain has stepped up. 
He's been quiet tonight, but that's a fabulous header from a fabulous player. Great delivery. Have a look at the movement. He gets half a yard, up he gets, heads it down. Bullet header. Half a yard. Uh, it's big Kyle Lafferty, who's half Morgan. He's not really got a, a challenge in. He needs to put more pressure on Ronaldo than that. And Cristiano gets his 41st goal. Nani again. And he steps inside this time and fancies a crack at Evans. Has to clear away the save from Roy Cowan. Chris Berda going at left back. Well, I know this is a Nani chance inside on his right foot. Now, look at the move and the ball dips just at the last second. A lot of that. Here's Veloso. Control gets the ball in. Oh, the goes up. Ronaldo's there again. Oh. Ronaldo was on board. And he's the skipper, the saviour. Heartbreak. Well, Ronaldo unmarked in the edge of the six-yard box is a no-no. Mark, obviously, that's a great ball in, but he should be he should be marked tighter than that. Here's the cross coming in here, and you can see he's totally, totally unmarked. Contrast cross. How can Ronaldo find out about a space? It's beyond me. Not a lot you can do from Roy Carl's point of view, and he doesn't miss chances like that. Well, he's not bad for a cheap Gareth Bale, as uh, the crowd were chanting You're here earlier. You're not a bad player, trust me, Mark. Oh, no. That's a dive. Oh, oh, and he's hurt him. That's, uh, that's a dive. Kyle, I mean, he, there's a lot of rolling about, that's for sure, Jerry. Straight oh, out. it's another red card. Kyle Lafferty can't believe it as he looks up. A third. Yes, you heard it right. A third red card at Windsor Park. It's unbelievable. Well, let's see, does he get any part of him? Coming in late, he's caught him, he's kicked into him, but I think the player's make, making the most of it. It's a wee bit late from Kyle. And again, this referee's been, well, zero tolerance is what we said. And Kyle's going in the joint, brought in the in the dressing room. He's not the sort of Dutch policeman you'd want to meet on the dark streets <laughs> of Amsterdam, Jerry. There would be no sympathy. Well, he wants it, and he's the captain. He's got the armband. <laughs> I don't think there's any doubt about that with the way he's walking back here, facing out the run. Listen, only brave men in the wall, I'll tell you that now, trust me. He'll aim straight for Pepe and then Pepe will pull out of the wall, that's the idea. Ronaldo! Kills off the brave man of Belfast! And that is why he is a superstar. Well, once the two players, the red shirts, went into the wall, you knew they were going to open up. A little bit naive there from us. But he hit it well. He hammered it into the space that they left vacated. Have a look as he opened up the wall. There they go, out of the way. He just strikes it straight through. And what's Roy Carl supposed to do there? Took a deflection as well. It took a deflection. Well, he's certainly making up for the disappointment he felt in a Porto on his 100th appearance of goals at Windsor Park. The group living up to its reputation. Now here's Nani. And Nani, good work from Nani. Beautiful footwork from Nani. Is this going to be number five and cleared off the line? And it was the substitute Amarim with the strike. Well, Nani is tantalising, twisting past two, three players. And he's pulled it back. Great pullback. And it's a deflected shot. He's actually hit the target, but it's deflected for the corner. Well, there's the final whistle. And there is the star at Windsor Park on this cold and wet Friday night. It's Ronaldo. He's all smiles after that hat trick. He was quiet in the first half, and then he got the first header in, the second one he was unmarked, and nobody else was going to take that free kick. 
with the captain on a hat trick, and Ronaldo has destroyed Northern Ireland at Windsor Park. The lead was taken by the Portuguese through Bruno Alves. Gareth McCauley managed to get the equaliser for Northern Ireland. Jamie Ward scuffling away on the line, putting Michael O'Neill's men into the lead, but then it all went horribly wrong, and mainly down to that man. Ronaldo is the hero for Portugal. Their World Cup hopes are really back on track here with two home games to come. And now Northern Ireland go to Luxembourg to try and pick themselves up after this. The final score here at Windsor Park, an overwhelming victory in the end for Portugal. They have won by four goals to two. Yes, it was only the second time in 36 matches that Northern Ireland have managed to score more than one goal and still it wasn't enough, and largely it wasn't enough because of that man there, one of the most prolific goal scorers the game has ever seen. He was certainly running the show after a bit of a, a problem at the start of the match. He couldn't turn the microphone on. He certainly turned his form on, and a hat-trick. He goes home with the match ball, and he is the reason that Portugal are now.